hello everyone welcome back to tableau tutorials in this video we are going to talk about how can we create different visualizations in tableau so uh, if you see this sheet this is a new book and this is a new sheet this book is named as book 2 and this is sheet 1 so let me just rename it as visualization or basically just whiz now uh, we have these different fields the blue ones are called the discrete values or the measure names and the green ones are called the continuous ones or the measure values okay uh, so what are the different types of visualizations that we can create up till now we have created just the bar charts or maybe the column charts and we have created the tables so in the previous video we discussed about this show me tab this is really this is a really really important tab in tableau it provides you a glimpse of all the visualizations that are by default supported by tableau right so all these visualizations that means you can create in tableau right now the thing is what are the requirements for uh, each of these visualizations like if we just take a look at this this is a horizontal bar visualization over here you will see the information about that okay so i would be hovering my arrow over that particular visualization and you need to take a look at this area so this is the horizontal bar chart and for this it what we need is this is the minimum requirement that's been stated okay so zero or more dimensions that means we may or may not need any of the discrete values but we need at least one measure or at least one continuous value right so let's just try this uh, and uh, what we can do is just drag one put here if we just put it into the rows then what happens you see this has been lit up this has been lit up and this has been lit up all others are grayed out so this is the histogram that means whenever you drag any of the fields then whatever visualizations are possible to be created by that particular field would be lit up automatically by tableau the second is a histogram in case you want to change the uh, visualizations you can just select that particular value okay now if i just remove that if you want it in the form of a table you can just select that and tableau will automatically make the changes for you so let me just remove this for a bit suppose i have not selected anything now what i do is i just select sales i select subcategory now these two things I selected, even if I haven't dragged anything, if I just select them, then also these visualizations would be lit up and would tell me that how many visualizations are possible to be created out of these data. And from here, I can select the best one which suits my requirements. So I'm going to go with a pie chart, suppose. So I just select on this pie chart and the pie chart has been created. Although we can just change it to the entire view and this is how it's created. I can add some information like the sales values into the labels and this is the legion that's present that tells me that what color everything is the accessories is the dark blue color the tables are the purple color and so on now uh, if we talk about the pie chart so what we have here is um, the values shown right although the sales amount is shown but what would be a more clearer metric in the terms of the pie chart and that would be either the angle or the percentage right because that is what pie chart stands for so how can we just drag that value or how can we generate that value let's just see that let's just drag sales once more into the labels of course it won't make any difference but right click over here there is something known as quick table calculation you have to go there and select this value that's percent of total now everything changes into percent that means out of the total sales 14.3 was the uh, sales done in the chairs subcategory 7.29 was done in the tables category and so on this is the information that is visible to us and you see as soon as we created a table calculation there is a small triangle kind of a symbol being shown over here Again, if we just drag this table, uh, this uh, labels uh, or this sales value into the labels, or if you want, we can just change its position. Then we are getting the sales amount and the percentage. Now, if we just go to, to this tooltip option, here is the total things that we are getting. Suppose we don't want all of them. 
we just want the percentage in the tooltip and the original amount would be shown over there only or what we can do is just undo that show the original amount there and the values uh, that's the sales amount normally so i can just get it into a black color and a bold i'm just providing some kind of a formatting options and click on ok so now what would happen is let's just remove this from here here we are having the percentages however if we just get over there okay so that won't work let me get it into labels and yeah now that should work let me see yeah that's because we haven't inserted the sum of the sales over here click on okay now it's working right however if we just remove it then it would be removed because that needs to be present over here okay and in case you have removed that that would be removed from here so you have to insert it into here click on okay and now it would work so this is what we are having this is what we get in the case of the uh, quick table calculations right uh, then we have uh, let's just talk about other visualizations right the pie chart is created suppose out of this pie chart you want to create some other visualization like instead of the pie chart you want to create some other visualization so what i'm going to do is duplicate this particular sheet uh, as vis2 because i don't want to ruin my pie chart now if you just go into the show me tab again it would give you a list of the things that are possible to be created like the side by side bar chart you can just select that and yeah that's how it's created just remove that and you would be good to go okay the uh, sales amount and the different subcategories right but sometimes it can get a messy somewhat messy it up right like right now we are getting so many options over here however if i just simply just clear this sheet drag in the subcategory drag in the sales uh sales right then i'm getting the same visualization really simply because without having to add all those things that were previously presented since tableau creates that for us so if you want a little bit more automation you can always go for it there's no harm now uh, we have been discussing about you see this was the things that we already had so we were discussing about something called as first of all let me rename it the sum of the profit or the sum of the sales that we were already always been mentioning while it was the creation of the calculated field or something so let's just understand what it is and why is it important so let me just get the vis4 here we have the uh subcategory and the sales that's my favorite okay change it to entire view instead of automatic let's just go for a circle so this is showing me that suppose the subcategory is accessories this is the total sales that i'm getting however let me just instead of the subcategory bring in the category for a far more better view like this okay now what happens is if you just go to this uh, data sorry if you go to this analysis tab there is something called as aggregate measures right if i uncheck this so these are the different amount of circles that we are getting like what it tells us it tells us that what are the individual values that were sold like one sales in the technology category was made of this amount other was made of this amount other was made of this amount so these are all these things all these individual values that are present what tableau does it automatically aggregates them uh, in a common measure like the sum for the sales sum for the profit etc that's why if you see sales only is written in this pill right now but if you go to the analysis and click on aggregate measures every time the sum of the sales is written that is the default metric and that's the more most accurate one actually okay why is it most accurate one let me just remove the sales and we have this orders count so if we just uh bring it here it is the cnt that's another metric that's the count of the orders that means how many orders in the furniture how many orders in this office supplies and how many orders in the technology category so tableau automatically selects the best aggregate measure for the field or for the value and applies it so that is uh, it for this video uh, in which we took a look at a really uh, interesting things
that's all for this video thanks for watching